the last season uh, on Smothers Brothers also uh, brought up another uh, another problem child was a number with Harry Belafonte. Hey Ma, look at the carnival. And um, we cut it, it was an eight minute number. And uh, Tommy wanted it to be very, very special. And his ideas and Mason Williams and all the writers we had. And uh, it, it was special because we cut the music between his close up and the rest of it into the beat of music with the slaughter in Chicago on the convention when they had the crowds outside, when the me melee, and it was all intercut to uh, the beat of music on this number. And Tommy insisted upon, well, compliance at CBS says that number is not going on. You better shoot something else. And he says, no. So they cut it out. But, it, it, but they had to refill it. But you see, Tommy didn't think about it because it was election time. And so they sold it to people wanting to have airtime for, for promoting the, the particular political parties, whatever it was. And so, and Tommy says, well, I'll get them. We put it in again next week. They cut it out again next week. And so, <laughs> so well, this went on for two or three weeks. And so uh, that, that was a major problem. And uh, it, 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 but I, 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 was, I only lasted on that show about four or five months because the Glenn Campbell show that we did in the summer replacement was picked up as a January uh, show to go on the CBS network. So now Tommy owned two shows, the Smothers Brothers show and a Glenn Campbell. So I went over onto the Glenn Campbell show when that went on as a series.